Okay. I just noticed that everybody was very interested in my basket, so I thought I'd show you how to do it. So you take a bag and you fold it up. And you basically just cut little strips off of it. And a lot of people um, that have done this before me where I get my ideas from, they just kind of throw these handles away, but I actually use them as uh, kind of the guts for my little rope thing. Uh, I'll show you. So I don't really have that much waste. Um, maybe just like little pieces like that. Okay, my first one that I cut off is sealed, so that's not good. Um, but these ones, you'll see, they make a circle, and then you can um, basically, you take one of the ones before that is also a circle, and you can hook them together. And I just ripped off, <laughs> just ripped this apart, so now I have two. That's okay, because it's plastic and we can fix things. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just tie it together. Why not? Yeah. Um, I would suggest using a needle with a bigger eye than what I'm using. Um, I bought my needles originally to use with thread, and then I got this brilliant idea, and I decided I was going to make it work, because that's what I do. I get a, an idea, and I'm very stubborn, and I was like, you are going to work. Okay. <clears throat> now I've got my next piece, and I found kind of a way to fold this up so it fits in the needle, but like I said, it would be a lot easier if I just went out and bought like a yarn needle with a really big eye. Maybe even a plastic one will work so you're not like poking holes in your bag. I do that sometimes. Okay. Okay, so this is my working thread, if you will, and these are all of my guts. So I take my guts and I kind of pull them, and I wrap, I wrap it with my working piece. Until I get to a place that I like.
and I go through the layer that came before it. Since I have these weird pieces, I'll just cut that off. Okay. And I usually do this when I'm like watching a movie or something. So I don't notice that it's like taking forever. And I've noticed that um, I prefer guts that have about four of these strips worth in the middle for thickness. Um, you can also crochet these. Um, you can hook them all together in a chain and make like, they call it plastic yarn. So basically you put one through and then you lose it back on itself again. And fiddle with it so it looks nice. You just make a big long chain and then you can um, crochet and make a bag or something. But I don't have a crochet hook and I'm not good at crochet anyway. I'm a knitter and I don't really want to knit with this. I don't think it would be very nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> to uh, start a new bag, it's a little fiddly at the beginning. I like this one better. Okay. To start a new bag, you just kind of. Um, I didn't use a needle at first, so I'm not going to use a needle to show you. Um, this is going to be my guts, and this is going to be my working one. I just kind of start wrapping the guts um, with the working one until I get, I don't know, about an inch or two out. And then I can like start to curve this around. How did I do that originally? I don't remember. You have to, um, oh, I remember how I did it. Before I got the needle idea, I was using <laughs> my pen to push things through. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit ghetto. Like I said, I'm, I'm stubborn, and I like to make things are going to work somehow, some way. And that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, it's fiddly. It goes in a circle. You use your working piece to tie it to the layer before. It's fiddly at the beginning. But once you get it started, it's really easy to keep going. Um, this is two normal size shopping bags and one little bag that they like to give you for little things. So I call it about two and a half bags. Uh, so this white one, this white one will be the third real official bag, but more like finishing the third bag, <coughs> what we're used to. Um, yeah. If you've made baskets before, then you kind of, kind of can figure it out. But if you haven't, basically you keep going and make it as flat as you can. Um, to make the bottom until it's about as big on the bottom as you want and then you start angling it up a little bit from the layer before um, so you start to get a curved side. I started curving it a little bit too strongly at first and so I noticed it was going to be more of a, like a little ball or um, a little cup shape and I wanted it to be bigger, um, more gradually sloped. 
So I had to like um, start consciously making it bigger instead of. Uh, I had succeeded in making the wall, so I needed to calm that down and start making it a little bit more flat again, so it'll be nicely angled up. Okay, and that is that is how I've been making my plastic bag basket. If you try it, let me know. Okay. Bye.